Erica, the two former officers are accused of being excessively aggressive with a man who is nearly 80. We've learned the two officers are no longer on the Westminster Police Force, but the Westminster Police Department failed to meet two of my deadlines today to explain what happened to those officers and whether they were ever disciplined. While cities don't typically comment on lawsuits, this information about the officers should be fairly easy for them to confirm since this alleged incident happened in 2020. An attorney hopes photos of the bruises and blood on Clayton Shriver's backside and arms will help prove her case that the former Westminster police officers who confronted Shriver in May 2020 used excessive force when dealing with a nonviolent man in his late 70s. I think it's unacceptable to tase elderly people, period. Tiffany Drahota filed a federal lawsuit alleging an officer double tased Shriver after he had been resting and waiting for his friend at a Westminster Walmart McDonald's. He incorrectly sat in a non seating area restricted due to COVID. The McDonald's staff told Shriver that he needed to purchase something or leave the store, the lawsuit alleges. I have no idea why it escalated. I think it was really hard for the officers and the workers to understand him. Because he's in the middle of a uh, he's in the middle of a medical emergency. Drahota says Shriver suffers from multiple medical issues, including head trauma and bad hearing. She says that created a communication barrier, and he raised his voice at the worker, who then contacted a police officer in the store. Drahota claims the officer violently threw Shriver to the ground and handcuffed him, then tased him in the thigh. The lawsuit says the officer tased Shriver a second time, while he and a second officer struggled trying to arrest Shriver. I think any reasonable police officer would have taken the time to really help him as opposed to tackle him and then tease him twice. Told us that she believes there was an internal affairs investigation, but that Westminster wouldn't tell her the outcome of that. And we are still waiting to learn what that was as well. I did, however, just confirm that the two officers with the same names as the ones named in the suit are still certified as police officers with the state and they work at other departments. I'm Lori Jankley, Fox 31.